So welcome back everyone. Um, you all have the starter codes, but if you don't, I'm going to be doing a very quick review of the code. I encourage you to sit back and follow along. And one, one thing I want to add is try to do this all by yourself. Change everything, in fact. Change the color, change the content. Try to, to build it from scratch and build your own product. But I'm going to assure you that I would show you how to drag and drop or just upload your files um, to your GitHub account without running, running any command. So, but with time, we really need to learn these commands because they will help you. In fact, I assure you that when you learn them, you actually fall in love with them and also be hungry to research and to understand the intricacies of Git and GitHub. So let's jump right straight into our Visual Studio code and start coding. Hello guys, so the first thing I want us to do is to go over our HTML code. The reason why this looks like this is that I, I, I deleted every, everything called styling so we could do that from scratch. Now let's go over, but we won't be writing any HTML code. Let's open our nav, our nav bar first just as we did in class. Now our nav bar is a makeup of, of two, two flex, two flex, um, two, um, sorry, two items. We have a container. We have a container that is housing this div, the first div, which is our logo, which is this, my name here, John Champion. Then, and the second one is an another list of three items, these three. That's all that we have in the first one, so we close it up. The second one, I called it a header. Now, it's, it's this an HTML5 semantic tag, you know that. And this header is housing two items too. The first is the H1, which is my name, and the paragraph tag, which is, sorry, it's housing two items. The first div that is housing my name and a short paragraph and also an image um, tag. These are two items, a div and an image tag, so that we can do display flex. That's it. Then the third section is housing three boxes. Box one, box two, and box three. That's three divs. And we give them a class of box, a unique class of, they are all sharing this box class so that when we do display flex, everyone is affected. So that is, that's that for our HTML code. Let's close everything all up. So, so let's close this. So let's jump right straight into our CSS. So in our CSS, I, I didn't have to come and start doing this again because we already know this and we gave our body, we gave it a font family of this. You could actually change it. You guys know all this and the color and the background. So the next thing we would want to do is to let's target the, the nav bar. We're going to be taking it step by step. So I want you to follow along so you understand all that we did. I really want you guys to be better at what you do. So let's um, let's target our let's target our image. Since we only have just one image, we'll give it a max width of 100 percent So we don't want we don't want the image to by any means um, take up another shape. So we want it to we want to see a hundred percent of our image. So and let's give this our H1, our H1 uh, tag and our H2 tag. These are like basic stylings. We'll give them a margin bottom of 15 pixels. You know, margin bottom wants them wants them to, to have to be spaced from from the paragraphs that they also have like this web this web also got a margin bottom of this because it's an h2 tag this cloud and all this now our container we're going to give our container class a max width of of 1000 now this is not it's, it's not like um 
It's not like you should, you can actually change it. It depends on what you want to see. Let me show you what we just did. If we should stretch, okay, let's, let's complete this first then. If we should, uh, yeah, if we should stretch this, now the maximum width from here to here, see here, this line now, is 1000, like the width now that this, all these items are contained in is 1100 pixels. See, there's nothing here, but we want it to, to come to the center. So, and you all know how to do, we're going to give it a margin all around, like all around. So we're going to say margin, um, top and bottom, we're going to say top and bottom zero and left and right auto. So, and when we look at what we have here, top and bottom is um, zero, left and right is auto. So the browser will, will automatically give us a perfect margin for that. Then we're going to add a padding. That's padding for inside, um, top and bottom zero, left and right thirty pixels. You can play with this and you know, and you know, see how it works. So, so we have we have it now centered. So the next thing we're going to now comfortably work on now is our nav bar so just as i told you you can choose to give it whatsoever color i gave it um, this blue color because um uh, just the way i just um, decided to structure it so i'm going to give it a background and some persons were asking about the background color uh, let's give it a background color of 0151cc so let's see. So we have this. Even if you change this to background, background, it still takes the same, the same shape. And you know we have those um, links. This our another list here, and they all have some styling that we have to get rid of. But first, let's convert the color to white, and let's give it a height of 60 pixels. So, so the items that were targeted were the bullet points, and not this, uh, not these links. You know, these links they are anchor tags. So we also need to target them too. Let's confirm this first. Uh, see, they are anchor tags, so we we have to target them. So let's not waste time with that. Let's say number A, and we're going to say. I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say color. Um, uh, I, I don't want to rush this. Like say color, see it turn to white. We remove the underline. I'm gonna say text. We know this. Let me let me make this fast. Text decoration none. We're gonna say let's increase the um, font size. Font size. Let's say 18 pixels and let's say font width font width let's say bold so i know you guys understand all this now let's get rid of of these bullet points too and to do that you know that and to do that you know that this um, um is this took this this title because of is an another list. So we're going to do navbar and ul. So we're going to do navbar ul and say list style type. List style type. And we're going to say none. So this gets rid of, of this. Now, just as we all did in class, um, we are going to target the container housing, the logo, and and the items. And let's let's get hold of that container. That container is called container that is inside the navbar. So we are going to say, so we are going to say, does navbar does container. Let's container 
we'll say display flex so you see they now appear let's give our let's give our um our logo let's make it look bold let's do that up here okay let's just do it here we say dot snap bar dot logo let's say font size x large I, I know you guys have seen this before we say font weight font weight but if you've not um you're welcome we say bold so we, we increase our logo so let's get right straight into into our nav bar and container so now because from our practice we we discussed about moving things around the row using words justify content justify content let's say space space between so because we only have two items it's going to space the two of them you know to both ends so space between moved this young man right here we're going to say align items center now the reason why you aligned it to the center here is because this is like this it's, it's seeing this guy as like a column it has a height if you had no height and there will be no spacing for these items to to be aligned it has it has a little bit of height so and to make it look better we'll say let's say let the height be a hundred percent so she took it he took it to the exact center so with time when you keep playing with all this you would get to understand all all this now just as we did with um, just as we did with this let's you know we were able to center this because we we said display flex and when we displayed it flex we were able to you know we were able to do um, align item justify content so we are also going to target I want you to see this um, link, this another list as the same thing. So we are going to target the another list by saying navbar ul. And we are going to say display flex. So see, display it flex. And we are going to we are going to give it the margin around. So let's just copy this, copy this. And, no, let's just do what we do. Shift alt down give it a single space and say you will li that's the list items inside this and we're going to say margin margin left 10 pixels so it gave you know this left 10 pixels 10 pixels 10 pixels so that's that's like what really happened there so i give it the hover effect you can choose to or you can just choose to skip the hover effect uh, there so to do the hover effect i said now bar and we targeted the a the anchor tag and say a over and say color uh, i will give it a sky blue although although it was red so when we come here and hover, or we could just give it red, so we just skip to. Mm, it doesn't really make sense, but just it's for learning purposes. So now we are done with our nav bar. So we forgot to comment this. Let's 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 give a comment and say nav bar styling. And let's come here and say header header search header styling right so the first thing we are going to do is when we target our header we are going to give the text a color of white so and Let's see. We are going to give. We are going to give a background color of uh, maybe. Okay, yeah. We are going to give it a background color of three, four, seven, four, 
E6. So it will be darker. You know, the reason why he took this background, this uh, um, background color he had before was that we gave the body, see, we gave the body a background color of this. So, so he also took that because it's part of the body. We wanted this place to actually have that color and I'm ahead to have a different color and we're going to give it a main height of 400 pixels. So that, that's like the minimum height size to attend. So we have this. Next thing now is to do our flexing. I have to flex, you know, this this thing here. So we're going to say, you remember that we have a container class inside our header. So we're going to target that container. And we're going to say display, let me say flex. Yeah, and it displayed flex. So then we also have some other things to do. Let's target. Let's target the image. So we say header the img. We say max width. So let's say 400 pixels. Let 400 pixels actually be the maximum width, so that not when we keep when we stretch uh, the image, we we'll keep increasing. Let let this be the maximum width of of our image. So the next thing we will do is to target this um, our H1. Let's make it look bigger. So we'll do that header H1. I'm going to say font size font size three rems. Make it bigger. Uh, we say font weight. We say bold. And we are going to say line height we are going to say 1.2 so we have uh, some spacing between them so we are almost done let's see almost so we need to bring this guy down and to bring him down we have to come right here and say a line because we already have a height so Understand that when we, when we have heights, we can now use align items. We already have a height there. So because the height actually represents that column. That's if we do not, by default, set it as um, a flex direction column. So and we say justify content space between. We already have a row here. So we want, want the two to be spaced. So somehow they are spaced because when we, yeah, you actually see the spacing. Remember that we have a max width in this container of 1100 pixels. That's 1100 pixels. So I think we are done with our, our header section. Let's now dive into our, uh, this section here, the last section. So we are going to call it boxes section. Boxes section. And the first thing we are still going to do is to target our boxes, classes, and remember we have a container inside it. And we are going to say display flex. And everything just got displayed flex. So we want them to be evenly spaced. So we say justify content space, space between. So and that's, that's just all that we need to do now. So not really, we have to ensure that we target the individual boxes. Remember we have three divs with um, classes of, with a class of box. So we need to target them and we say um, background, background color or background, whichever one you want to use. I will use the same 015 and save. Then you see we, we are supposed to give it like some margins but let's say color white so the text are converted to white and let's give it a almighty margin we are going to say um, top and bottom 20 pixels and left and right 10 pixels so we're going to give it a padding so the items inside will actually you know, be pushed inside top and bottom 15 pixels, left and right 20 pixels. Uh, 
choose that. Oh no. So we're going to say border radius. We're going to say border radius. And we're going to give it 10 pixels all round. All round. So what else? Then we're going to say flex. Flex one. Flex one actually makes them evenly spaced. No matter the the volume or the amount of content that they have inside. And I think we are done with our website. And uh, yeah, we are done with our website. So the last thing we have to do is to ensure that uh, that the website is responsive, so that when we when we adjust it, see, we want it to be responsive. It's not exactly what we want to see. And to achieve that, um, we are going to use the Medi almighty media query that you guys already know about at media. And we're going to say max width. And we're going to set it to 7, 6, 8 pixels. Now, what this does is, I'll give an, the explanation that the, this style, the styling we're going to give inside is going to only happen from 7, 6, 8 down. 7, 6, 8 down. Once we get to 7, 6, 9, it gets back to the default styling. So let's target the header, which is which is this particular section. We target the header, the container inside the header. The container inside the header actually has has this content, this um, this div that has at the H1 and the paragraph and this image tag. So I'm going to give it a flex. We say when when. When we get to 768, let your flex direction be changed from the default row, flex direction. Let it be changed from default row to column. So, and let's see that when we adjust, sorry guys, when we, you see, we are, we are, we are at 768 now, so that's why. But when we exceed 768, see, it goes back to the normal style. So let's give it some padding because see when we get to this place, so we need to give it some padding top so so we have some space in here. Padding top, I'm gonna give it 20 pixels, right? So we have some some padding top, and then we're gonna do text align. Text align. Pay attention, it's not align content, we are just aligning the text to the center so so i think it looks better now so the next thing we're supposed to target is this section the section of web cloud and cyber so and you know that they are all housed inside the container inside the boxes classes so we're going to say boxes dot container i'm going to say display block so each item takes takes hold of the the entire width so you see that and we're going to say text align text align center text align center so guys i think this should be it for for the project next is to show you then I, we added the footer so you you could just add a footer and Next is to deploy this um, to your GitHub account, and I promise to show you a much more easier route. So let's do that together. We still have to learn how to use the command line, and I'll try to look for the easiest way to do that. So you go to github.com and quickly sign in. So I have to put my username, realcloud, plus dot, and I'm going to put my password. Then I'll hit, I'll hit sign in, not hit, hit sign. So now I'm in my, my, I'm in my page, my, my, you know, the display page they gave me here, and I want to create a new repository. So I, I should see this new, or I should see this new. Let me, let me increase. Sorry guys, let me increase the screen. So, 
So I should see this new or I should see create new a new repository. If you don't see the two, you should see your repository. So you should click any of the three. But for this one, we are going to um, click create new repository. Now it took me here. Then I'm going to say repository name. We're going to give it a name of uh, my uh, my CSS flex box project. Then for some reasons, I'll give the description. I'll say this, but it's optional. You can choose to leave it. This is my first. This is my first project with CSS Flexbox then you scroll down then you add a readme file uh, because we are not using the command line so we are doing everything uh, through the GUI then we click create repository so, so our, repos our repository has been created and the next thing we are going to do is to get our files here and since we do not want to use the command line, we could just come here. Everyone should please look at, say, add files. You should see this, add files. So I'll click add files and I'll go to upload files. Now, you can either choose to drag and drop your files here, but for, for this reason, we'll just click choose your files. Now I have my files here. All I have to do is to highlight these three files. My index.html, my style.css, and my image file. Then I'll click open. Now if I should scroll down, you see that the upload has started. Currently uploading the first of the three files. We have to wait till the three files have been uploaded. Now the three files have, have been uploaded and what, all we have to do is to click, ensure you click commit changes commit changes and we have our three files uploaded so the next thing is to get this um, get our website up and running and to do that we'll go to sec settings please click settings and then we we scroll down then you see pages then we scroll down Say build and deploy. We will have to ensure yeah, deploy from a branch and which branch we want it to be. If yours is, you know, most of you see main, you should go for main. Uh, then we save it. Then all you have to do is let, let's reload the page, be sure. Okay, then we scroll down here. And say costume domain. Costume domain allows you to serve your site from a domain other than um, real cloud plus dot github plus io. So we won't be needing that anymore. So we wait a while. Uh, let's reload this. But it's delaying, so we could just come here and say flex, flex box project. I don't know why it's delaying. So, so when we reload it, See. so okay so we now have that our site is live at this so let's visit our site so we have our sites up and running now so I hope this video was um, easy for you to attempt you don't have to do so much you just you don't have to write any command just follow the video step by step and you will get your site and your and your projects will be uploaded to your GitHub account. So that's 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 that for the video and and see you in our next project. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.